pause recording. And then, um, Carly, do you mind if I spotlight you? Okay. What, what I might do too is, is kind of move the spotlight around. I uh, did this yesterday in Lucas class and, and it was kind of neat. So, so yeah, for those that are unfamiliar, um, you will see Carly up there, Carly and Michael, but I hope nobody minds, but I might spotlight you all. So if you can just give me a quick thumbs up, if you don't mind. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Good. So child's pose, pose of the child and go ahead and get, get grounded. Take your forehead to the mat. Yeah, and just sink down, just lower down and B. Notice the sounds around you. Yeah, a lot of you are outside, so that's awesome. Yeah, just notice those sounds outside. Maybe notice the breeze or the sun on your skin. Just get present. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. Again, deep breath, release it, downward facing dog. And take movement, start to get integrated into your body. Yeah, what do you need right now? What does your integration need? Does it need movement? Does it need movement into a particular spot in your body? And take your fingers nice and wide on your mat and plug each fingertip down. Yeah, put this into your muscles, your muscles and your bones, vice your joints. Yeah, so plug each fingertip down. Press with your palms as well. Turn on your muscles, turn on your shoulders. Step to the top of your mat, forward fold or ragdoll. Yeah, split your feet if you need that space. And then get intentional with pressing your heels and your big toe mounds down. And as you press those down, draw your core in and press your tailbone towards the ceiling or towards the sky. And keep rooting down. And then we draw in as we press up. Release your hands down, halfway lift. Forward fold, bend forward. Root through your feet, extended mountain, rise up, reach up, slight back bend here. Yeah, so continue to press down through your feet, but reach up energetically, draw your core and press your hips slightly forward. Yeah, and then reach up, slight back bend if you want that there. Bring your hands to heart center. Bend the, we'll, we'll, we'll begin with the sound of one ohm. Breathe in for ohm. Uh, Take a breath in, reach up, extended. Fold, let the breath out. Flat spine, take a breath. High to low plank. Roll forward, up dog, and then stay there. Yeah, so if you need knees down, that is there for you in Cobra Pose. Soft bend of the elbows, roll your shoulders into your upper back. Yeah, and then press your chest forward, look up. Yeah, and then rock side to side here, a little lateral movement. Roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Three inhales and exhales. And come back to reset. Come back to being intentional with each and everything you do. Yeah, intention with your eye placement, intention with your breath. Breathe in, breathe out, look forward. Go ahead and step forward to your thumbs. Halfway lift, breathe, fold, extended mountain, rise up, forward fold, flat spine, breathe in, high to low. Yeah, Chaturanga Tandasana, roll forward, upward, breathe, look up, 
Press back, downward facing dog. Exhale, look back between your feet again. Yeah, that single point look there. Come back to your Ujjayi. Yeah, intentional breath. And then ground down. Yeah, activating our bandhas, our palms, our feet. So press those things down into your mat. Draw your Uddiyana Bandha, your core up and in. Breathe in, rise up on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs. Travel forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Extended mountain. Reach up, breathe. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Low plank. Upward. Downward. And three cycles. Breathe in together. Press your chest towards your thighs. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. On your exhale, look. Travel. Halfway. Nice hop, guys. Fold. Ukatasana. Yeah. Come into Thunderbolt, our chair pose. And take the corners of your of your mouth to, towards your ears. Yeah, I was motivated by and by and by and by Carly's infectious smile. Breathe in. Yeah, then squeeze into center. Yeah, so pull in. Now press your feet down. And then reach the side body up towards the sky, the ceiling. Inhale. Stay here for your exhale. One more breath. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Yeah, then vinyasa flow. I see in all of you guys' practices, I know that you know vinyasa. I know you know your flow. Warrior one, right foot forward. And again, intentionality. Feet. Yeah, so I mean, I love to look down, down on my feet whenever, when, whenever I come into warrior series. Because sometimes I think my foot is in a certain location, but it's not. And sometimes my hips are tight and I have to go wider. Yeah, so don't be afraid to go wider on your stance. But now press your feet down into your mat. Press your hips down towards your mat as well. And sink lower. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more times. You got this. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, maybe go for a slight back bend. Breathe in. Hands to mat. Flow. Yeah, move with your breath. No resistance there. Left foot. Warrior one. Virapadrasana. And same thing. Intentionality. Feet. Yeah, then press your outer shins in. Pin your, pin your shoulders to your, to your back. Yeah, so roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale. You got this, Liz. Two more times. Last breath. Hands to mat. Flow. Yeah, let go of the judgment there of I should be able to do it this way. Inhale together. Let it go together. Two more times. Inhale, expand. Exhale, look forward. Travel. Halfway. Fold. Chair. Forward fold, halfway lift, high to low. Up, breathe, down, let it go. And then on that pause, step forward, right foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach, pause. Exhale, hands to mat. Yeah, let, let it be challenging. And then left foot, same thing. Move with your breath. And then we'll all meet in down dog.
Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, fill up, empty it out, rise up on your toes, bend your knees, look forward, draw the core in, float. Half, fold, chair, fold forward, flat spine, low plank. Roll up, press down, right foot, warrior one. Reach up, most expansive when you got hands back to your mat. Yeah, flow, left foot, warrior one. And then again, move with your breath, downward facing dog will be our reset. Breathe. Then Liz, I'm gonna pin you now or spotlight you. Raise your right leg to the, towards the sky, towards your ceiling. Yeah, bend your knee, stack your hip, flip your dogs. Yeah, then what's possible for you here in this flip dog? First thing, yeah, get energized here. We're, we're, we're coming towards the end of awakening. Press your feet in that, in that one palm down. Squeeze your knees towards each other. Yeah, then as you draw in, press your hips towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Stay for two, you got this. Stay for one more. Come over into high, roll over into side. Yeah, then everybody go to float your top leg. You got this. Float it. And then draw elbow to knee, crunch in. Stay there. Yeah, so, so elbow to knee, crunch in, but press the hips higher. Yeah, so, so see if you can keep that connection. And then press the hips higher. Stay here for three. Stay here for two. Hands to mat, flow. And take that left leg up, flip your dogs, and then see if you can control that landing in, in, in your flip dog. To me, that's, and that's sometimes the most challenging part of this pose is controlling my negative, control your landing. Because sometimes that requires the most energy, that soft landing, because all you want to do is just slam that foot down. Stay for three, reach forward, stay for two, Come back over into high, roll over onto side, left side, side plank. Put your toes to your shins and activate your quads. Yeah, then float your top leg, draw elbow to knee, stay there. Crunch in, hold. Yeah, press the hips up, stay here for three. Try looking up, stay here for two. Yes, love it. Hands to mat, flow. Right foot forward, high crescent lunge. Draw your hands to heart center. <laughs> I love the unbalancing there. Hands, hands to heart center, twist, rotate. Now draw your core in. Squeeze your palms together. Yeah, so firm press of the palms. Rotate your bottom chest muscle towards the sky. Yeah, and then press the crown of your head forward. You want to open up, you can open up. You want to bind, you can bind. Stay for three inhales and exhales. Yeah, but keep twisting. That breath in creates space. And then on your exhale, you twist a little more, a little more, you take advantage. One more breath in, you got this. Stay for your exhale, open up into warrior two. Yeah, look at your stance, adjust as needed. Extended side angle. And all options are there for you. Yeah, all options. 
And don't be afraid to try something on. Stay for three. Yeah, nice binds. I love those. You got it, Maggie. Stay, stay in the discomfort. This will end. Stay for two. Everybody try looking up. Hands to mat flow. Step your left foot forward, high crescent. Then get, again, get intentional with your foundation. It all starts there. If you, if you find yourself on bounce, hands to heart center, take a breath in, rotate. Yeah, if you find yourself on balance in this pose, press back more through that back heel, press back more, or excuse me, press down more with your front foot. Stay for three, keep twisting. Yeah, tension and, and release. Stay for two, draw that core in, Liz. You didn't lose it, it's still there. <laughs> Open up into warrior two. I know, you might, you might think differently. It's like the baby stole it from me. No, it's still there. Remember, it took you nine months. So give yourself that grace. Extended side angle. Yeah, and then get playful here. Half bind, full bind, birds bound. Yeah, maybe you want the beach ball. You reach both hands forward. Yeah, but just don't lose the depth of your squat. That's the challenge here for this pose it is, and is to keep the depth of your squat. Then everything else is just, just cherries. Stay for three. Stay for two. Look down at your front foot. Hands to mat, flow. Take a breath in. Let it all go. One more time. Breath in, rise up. Bend your knees, look forward, float. Halfway. Fold. Ukatasana. Palms together. Rotate to the right. And try on side crow. Yeah, go ahead and try it on. Side crow. Stay for four. Keep twisting. You got this, Maggie. Stay for three. Two. Fold forward. Go ahead and split your feet, fingers to toes. And then your opportunity for reset. I loved Luca's intention yesterday with this is, is a birthday class. Yeah, every time that you come to stillness, it's your opportunity for, for reset. An opportunity to catch your breath, calm your thoughts, calm your mind. Going, it's all right. Bring your feet back together, come back into chair, palms together, twist the other direction. And try on side crow. Yeah, so like for me, side crow, yes, it's play time. But normally at this part of the flow, my thighs are really talking to me. Yeah, so it's my opportunity to give my thighs a little breather. Drop down onto my shoulders. Stay for three. You got it, Daniel. Come on, stay here too. I know. Thighs are talking. Fold forward. Split your feet again. Gorilla. Put a little bit more weight into the ball of your feet. Vice your heels. <laughs> I don't think your dog wants to move, Maggie. <laughs> I had the same issue with Diva, one of my one of my cats. Good. Release your palms. Crow. Go for it. 
Crow pose, Bakasana. Stay for five, four, strong fingers, strong core, three, draw that core and draw your heels towards your butt, high plank. Yeah, maybe you step back, float back, hop back, and then flow. Breathe in, exhale it out, rise up on your toes, bend your knees, travel. Half, fold, extended. Yeah, and then come into eagle on the right. Garudasana. Flat spine, but yeah, but chair, chair knees or chair legs. Switch your sides. I find it's really important with these balance poses to get really intentional with your with your grounded foot and a drishti. Yeah, so press down firmly through your right foot, press your left hip backwards, draw your core in, switch back to the right, and then come right into your fullest expression. Yeah, so this is your opportunity to yeah, challenge. What is what does this hold for you as far as your fullest expression for this morning? There's that possibility of sitting lower, possibility of yeah, holding a little longer. Switch your sides, last time. Unwrap, standing leg raise on the right. Standing leg raise, draw your right knee up, grab your knee, grab your big toe, open out. And take your left hand the opposite direction. Breathe. Now keep pressing down through your left foot. Draw your right knee back to center. Kick it back into airplane. Slow is controlled here. Yeah, so if you try to sweep that back or your foot back quickly, it might pull you out of the pose. So apply a little bit more energy, a little bit more intention with that sweep back. Pin your shoulders into your upper back again. Yeah, slight up dog in the chest. Open up into half moon. Keep that very engaged left foot. Now open the hips, stack your hips. And energetically keep your raised foot. Yeah, keep pressing it up towards the sky. And pressing it back towards your Breathe. Carly, I don't I don't think that's part of yoga. <laughs> Step forward, release. Standing leg raise on the left. I only wish that I could hear that conversation going on with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you open out, bring it back to center, and, and then kick it back into airplane. Half moon. Sometimes all you need is your breath and your focus. Yeah, breathe, focus, step forward, rise, dancer on the right. Yeah.
Yeah, and let's see your fullest. Fullest expression, your full body expression. Switch your sides. Yeah, press down with your right foot. Lift up that back heel. And then express out with your right hand. Tree on the right. Strong roots. And switch your sides. Grow your branches. And then try looking up. Look up at a single point. Yeah, if you're looking at the sky, that's that's going to be difficult. And then release. Extend and mount. Take a breath in as you reach. Full, fold forward. Let that breath go. Halfway. Low plank. Chaturanga Tandasana. Upward. Downward. Warrior one. Right foot. Yeah, warrior one two, try, or you can go straight to Trikonasana. I'm trying to, here we go, spotlight, here we go. And Maggie, you're you're on spotlight now. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead and press through your feet, rise to stand, turn your right toes, fold forward. Side facing wide leg, forward fold. And I'm loving that space, Maggie. Yeah, inversions are always welcome here if you want to play. I'll hold you here for three, two. Press through your feet, rise all the way up. Pyramid pose, namaste, front facing forward, fold. Yeah, so don't be afraid to take a shorter stance. So your, so your back foot can step in towards your front foot and then step out to the opposite direction to the left side of your mat. And then the action of squaring your hips. Take your chin towards your shin. Twisted triangle. Yeah, right hand grounds down, left hand reaches up. No, no, you're right, you're right, Maggie, go, go the opposite direction, you're twisted, there you go. I mean, we're all kind of twisted in a way. <laughs> yeah, breathe in, exhale, twist. Two more times, inhale, exhale, keep twisting, last breath. Hands to mat, come on down, low plank. Upward facing. Downward facing, left foot, trikonasana. Squeeze your heels towards each other. Yeah, so keep this activation of drawing in. 
and then rotate your bottom chest muscle towards the ceiling as you reach up with that top arm with your right arm. Breathe. Good. Press to your feet, rise. Side facing wide leg. Yeah, left toes turn. Slight pigeon toe of your feet, ground down through the knife edge of your feet. And again, yeah, shoulder rinse is there. You want to invert. Tripod head, supported head, forearm, hand. All those yummy things. It must be hot and humid out there. <laughs> Rise on up. Turn and then turn to the front end of your mat. Not I'm gonna say front facing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fold. Inhale. Exhale. Continue to fold. Yeah. Create challenge. Breathe in. Fold. Twisted triangle, but don't lose the integration of your feet and your hips here. Now bring into your torso, your in your upper body. And so it's the same integration from hips down, but now there's this twisting action the opposite direction. Breathe, twist, two more times. Fullest expression, high plank, stay there. We got high planks. And drop down to your forearms, forearm plank. Come back up into high plank and then let's do five push-ups. Ready? So five, four, Three, two, one. Come back up into high, and then at my count, we're gonna lower it down. So yes, yeah, slow and control. Ready? Five, four. No, stay with me. Three. You got this. Two. Stay there. One. Breathe. You got. Lower all the way down. By the way, I love push-ups. <laughs> 